The Eye of the Wyvern is a gemstone whose radiance burns like the thirst for riches that it arouses in humans. It brings luck to its possessor, but causes unbridled destruction and chaos all around. Van Helsing took it from the still warm body of the Wyvern before losing it in a fool's bargain made with Stingy Jack. <laughs> I know this out and out liar well, having once made a pact with him myself. I sent my disciples to an alehouse he frequents. to accompany my disciples on Earth, to taste the sour and bitter despair, not unlike the stale beer that the doleful clients of the Black Cat consume all day long. The drunkards that frequent the bar explain to my disciples that Stingy Jack left the region some time ago. Apparently, he had left for the environs of Fail Town, where he had been killed in a settling of scores with some demon hunters. This reference to my enemies rekindles my loathing. My disciples leave for Failtown in order to get to the bottom of this story. My influence is growing. I hear the murmurs of the trees. They're fed up with humans. Let us answer their prayers. It's high time I interfered. The only limit to my power is my imagination. Mira, Mira. Who shall die tonight? <laughs> <laughs>
fragment of power for my disciples. I'd love to see them burn. You have to know how to prod destiny in order to remain this will be mine. Oh, oh, that looks like fun. I shall forge the world. Simple mortal trait. Really? It's for me? Bow before your queen. Dirty again. My power is invincible. The people fear me once again. That is how it should be. A fragment of power for my disciples. Fail town, the inhabitants still curse Stingy Jack. He arrived well dressed and ready to spend his money in the local stores. All welcomed him with open arms. Jack had lost none of his gall, and he had clearly made good use of the additional years of existence that he had cheated from me. However, the inhabitants came to realize that he grew rich at the expense of the naive and the miserable. He was eventually killed, his fortune disappearing as if by magic, and the inhabitants buried him in the mass grave of the Cemetery of the Forgotten. That is where my disciples must go. I defile, I corrupt, I pervert. Choose quickly. Evil will not spread with that. Finally. Sacrifice to dominate. I am pleased with these offerings. Who shall be the first? You 
shall not leave until all the Simple mortal trinkets. Really, it's for me. Really, it's for me. When I give, I get. With that, the humans will finally submit to my. Don't be scared. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> or maybe I will. Disciples. You have to know how to prod destiny in order to remain powerful. My disciples left Vale Town in search of Stingy Jack's grave. It is in the cemetery of the Forgotten that they encounter his wandering spirit. Unworthy of paradise, he is unable to enter hell because he exchanged his eternal soul against my promise to never admit him. <laughs> when he recognizes my disciples for what they are, he admits to having been killed by Professor Dante. The demon hunter also wants to get his hands on the Eye of the Wyvern. Jack has hidden the gemstone. He will give it to us in exchange for a mere bagatelle, a resurrection. Highly amused by this situation, we accept and arrange to meet him in a secluded mill. Soon the humans will all bow down before me. think that such a powerful relic was hidden in this rat hole.
attacks will only make our conquest more bloody. Perfect. souls finally deigns to show himself. Don't make him wait. Simple mortal trick. Finally, Finally. <laughs> take everything you can. Ah, a conductor of souls. All those innocent souls I harvested will finally be of use. Evil will not spread. Take everything you can. I am pleased with these offerings. When my disciples arrive at the abandoned mill, Jack is already there. That is because spirits, unburdened by material necessities, travel lightly. And en route, my disciples had to find a suitable body. A young man in good health, with a build similar to Jack's. A body that would gain him a few years of human life is not easy to find in these humble parts. With Jack now resurrected, he reveals to us that the Eye of the Wyvern is hidden in an abandoned farm. His body may have changed, but I recognize that look sparkling with guile. I suspect duplicity. Be that as it may, let us see just what Jack has in store for us. Thank you. 
fear my rage. Take everything you can. The conductor of souls finally deigns to show himself. Don't make him wait. again. That is how it should be. What a charming valley. Hmm. My disciples will have to do this. The people fear me once again. That is how it should be. Such a powerful relic was hidden in this rat hole. will finally simple mortal trick don't be scared <laughs> or maybe I will I have to get my hat dirty again <laughs> Disciples.
The fog that Jack had directed us to is teeming with demon hunters. They are emptying drawers, slashing upholstery, and wildly ripping planks from the wooden floor. They too are clearly looking for the Eye of the Wyvern. My disciples kill all the demon hunters, except for their leader. The man reveals to us that Professor Dante, still in pursuit of the gemstone, has gone to the Hanged Man's cave. If Dante is on a promising trail, he may find the Eye of the Wyvern before us. That must not happen. Ah, screams of terror. Such sweet music to my ears. Don't be scared. <laughs> or maybe I will. Mm. Are we playing? Mirror, mirror. Who shall die tonight? <laughs> 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 I have to get my hands dirty again. I want to I hope you're not in a Another night, another conquest. These relics will only make our conquest more bloody. I hear the murmurs of the trees. They're fed off. Indeed, this is no task for a peasant. A lady never fails. The nightmare is only beginning. You have to know how to prod destiny in order to remain powerful. You have to know... Mm, there's nothing like it to rekindle my flame. Choose me. You won't be disappointed. I shall reforge the world. Normally I face much harder challenges. 
These relics are potent enough to contain my power. Mm, there's nothing like it to rekindle my flame. When I give, I get. Simple mortal trinkets. With that, the humans will finally submit to my yoke. Yet. Oh, oh, that looks like fun. I shall reforge the world in my. More, more. Soon the humans will all bow down before me. Souls rock. Really, it's for me. Really, it's for me. The curse will pay for that. will finally submit to my yoke. I am pleased with these offerings. Take them. The crows seem partial to this tree. Maybe when my disciples arrive at the Hanged Man's Cave, they find a corpse that they recognize. They had chosen it especially for Jack. The fool had rushed here, but he had come face to face with Dante. What was he looking for in this cave? We shall get answers, and this time, no trickery. My disciples chance upon an old pumpkin. It is out of the question to give him a new body and then find a hiding place before initiating the ritual of resurrection. When Jack awakens, he curses me for his new appearance. Believing himself to be alone, he raises a flat stone and removes a key. He then makes a quick exit. My disciples follow him. I defile. I corrupt, I pervert. These relics are potent enough to contain my power. What a wretched pile of sticks. souls. All those innocent souls I harvested will fight me in use. I am pleased with these offerings. Take them. With that, the humans will finally submit to my yoke.
simple mortal trinkets. Let's change it. I don't like this situation. Let's change it. Indeed, this is no task for a peasant. Let's get down to business. A lady never fails. These relics are potent enough to contain my power. Really? It's for me? You have to know how to prod destiny. They're fed up with humans. Let us answer their prayers. Normally, I face much harder challenges. You have to know how to prod destiny in order to remain powerful. The people fear me once again. That is how it should be. There's nothing like it to rekindle my flame. Indeed, this is no task for a peasant. A lady never fails. To think that such a powerful relic was hidden in this. Mm, there's nothing like it to rekindle my flame. Stingy Jack. Now, Jack o' Lantern, since my disciples resurrected him by using a bumpkin, rolled all the way to an abandoned mansion. Dante and his demon hunters are already there, throwing furniture out of the windows. Clearly, 
They have not understood that they require Jack's key in order to gain access to the Eye of the Wyvern. And so, all the actors of this farce are finally brought together. But I know how the story ends. The death of all my enemies, and me being reunited with my gemstone. I propel my disciples onto the Demon Hunters. Curiosity killed the cat, Dante. You sealed your fate the moment you decided to pursue the occult arts.
the demon hunters dead, and the Eye of the Wyvern once more in my possession, there remains one last detail to be resolved. Jack, this out-and-out -out liar with his pumpkin head, has proved himself to be cunning, immoral, and resourceful. We find him well satisfied with the spectacle at a slight distance from the action. He might prove useful to me, after all. <laughs> A formidable weapon for my disciples. A formidable weapon for my disciples. I was awaiting your return, Master. Allow me to serve you with my spell. 